Governor Strickland is taking his campaign into living rooms, not just through television ads, but in small gatherings inside the homes of supporters who invite friends and neighbors in for a little FaceTime with the governor. If you're going to really communicate with people, you need to go be with them. We followed him through Medina and Stark counties, where he talked repeatedly about the stark differences between him and Republican opponent John Kasich. And I guess you can have difference. Uh, different opinions about these trade deals. But let me tell you what he also did as a congressman. Not only did he vote to send these jobs out of America. He accuses you of attacking him because you can't run on your own record. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, uh, Colleen, since I've been governor, I'm out and about uh, talking to the media, people like you and others, uh, all the time. I think I've been that way with you, and I think I'm that way with other representatives of the media. I don't think I have to talk a lot about my record because people know uh, my record. They know I work hard. They know I've been honest. They know I've tried hard. They know that we are coming out of this recession. He says I'm smearing him. Well, uh, all I'm doing is talking about his record, Colleen. If he considers his record a smear job, then maybe he should rethink his record. And the Kasich record in Congress and at Lehman Brothers was the main topic of the Strickland message to voters. But in many ways, the former minister was preaching to the choir. His audiences on this day were mostly partisan, mostly supportive, and mostly finding the GOP message about his failure to get the jobs done. I don't think it's effective because I don't know who's getting what jobs done. We're losing jobs. It's not the fault of the governor's. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. Big business has taken over.